Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. Also, thank you to everybody that has been subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it so much and liking my videos and watching my videos all the way through and watching the ads. I really appreciate you guys so much. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Aquarius in my collective. Please protect this deck from any negative energy, spirit guides of the night, ancestors, and masters, when angel of the night. Okay, this is a general reading, so it may not or it may resonate with you. So just take what fits your story, okay? So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. So we have here the two of wands. So it can be connected to uh, Aries, Seven of Pentacles, and Reverse. It could be connected to the tour. So I'm seeing here that somebody is realizing that they invested poorly. Like somebody here probably didn't go over something. Or somebody here got scammed. Or somebody here could have um got their money stolen from somebody that they even knew. What else? But I'm also seeing here with the two of wands. Ten of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody here is either trying to make some type of plan now, like go with plan B because plan A didn't work out. And that could have been somebody here that they thought, you know, was going to be the person that they was going to end up with. But they're realizing, like, you know, they wasted their time. Somebody here, yeah, took somebody from a lot of stuff. Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, I'm seeing that somebody here was working extremely hard. And it's like, they could have invested in a lot of things here. But it's like, somebody here seen that whatever they invested in was not a good decision. But somebody here is upset, they're angry, and pissed off at themselves. Okay, because it's like, they feel like... They really worked hard. Like somebody feels like their hard work has been gone to waste. Either trying to work towards a, you know, a connection or it could be a career. Yeah, but with the 10 here, somebody here is um, releasing some type of pain here. Some type of grudge. Okay. Unnecessary worry. Yes, yeah, so I'm seeing here somebody here is done being a people pleaser. We have the five of swords here. Yeah, this person is coming to commit to you. They want to. Yeah, they're trying to see how they're going to go about it, though. Like, you guys can have distance between each other. Because I'm saying the two of wands here is like this person was uncertain. So it's like they chose the wrong path, basically. They thought that they was making a wise decision. Yeah, but it's like, as somebody here is coming in, trying to commit to you or thinking about it, it's like they're thinking about all the stuff that they did that was deceptive, okay, that they did behind their back, okay, adding a, another person or being sneaky about it. And it's like, they're like, like they're shocked that you like left them, like you didn't even text them, check up on them or nothing, because they could be used to people like, you know, when somebody try to leave this person, it's like, they'll come back. Like, it won't be for long that somebody come back to this person. But it's like, you completely cut the shit off. And they're just like, is you even going to want me? Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody here is getting some type of divorce. Or they're moving out of home. Or somebody here could have broke up some type of engagement. With the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. Yeah, they are rejecting somebody here. You can be seeing 444, 888, 1010, 55222777. Yeah, this person, they want to communicate with you. They're going to be traveling towards you. Okay. And I'm saying here's like in the midst of them trying to come in towards you, it's somebody here that they are removing themselves from that feels rejected by this person. And it's like they're trying to get in this person's way of coming in to commit to you. 
It's like somebody here doesn't want to see that. Yeah, somebody wants this person to stay stuck. And this karmic cycle here, the Ten of Swords here, that's painful, but it's, it's, it's over with with the Royal card. Yeah, somebody here is having the strength here to walk away. Had to follow their heart. Yeah, somebody here was born discontent. Here, the death. Yeah, somebody who's going through a transformation here and they're not going back. Somebody here feels like, oh, only thing I have to do is just do this for this person and they, they'll come back. So this person is like, no, I'm over it. Four of Cups here, I'm fucking done. <laughs> okay? Somebody is either saying that they're, they're going to commit suicide if this person leaves them or something, they're going to hurt themselves. But this person, yeah, they're taking a leap of faith. They're like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because motherfuckers be saying that shit, but don't do it. They just be trying to, that's their way of trying to keep somebody stuck or make them feel sorry or some shit. Yeah, but this person, they're ready for a new beginning. And I'm also seeing here, whoever this person was with, yeah, we have the five of pentacles in the star. It's like this person was like routine. It's like this person likes somebody here that's spontaneous. Okay, like somebody here just did the same shit, go to work, argue, complain, and have sex, get high, drink liquor, party, talk about people. <laughs> like, it wasn't like no type of like, you know, somebody didn't surprise somebody or, you know, put in the effort. It's like somebody here was just like, yeah, I got to go. This is not it. It's like somebody here was always pissing somebody a cup of something. I don't know if this person could have got poison or something, or somebody put something in this person's drink or something. Something like that. And this person didn't take it. Yeah, they're leaving this person out in the cold. And it's like with the star car here. It's like they they are doing some healing. Okay, they're optimistic as well. Okay, they're trying to keep a positive mindset. Yeah, I'm hearing a plane. This plane be loud as hell. Whatever plane that is. So this person probably got to get on the plane to come in towards you. Or they want to go on some type of trip with you. So you guys can like, you know, enjoy each other. Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so the Two of Cups in reverse to me, that's Ace of Cups. So this person started a whole new romantic cycle with somebody new. Okay. Yeah, they want to amend things with you. And this person, they're just hoping for the best. You know, page of wands here. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. And it's like this person, they're so emotional about you. Okay? It's like they love you so much. Okay? And we have the four pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person is releasing somebody. Mm-hmm. They have the page of wands. Somebody here is keep trying to talk to this person. Yeah, communicate with this person either about a child, they have a child with this person, or, you know, about their relationship or something like that. Like, why is you leaving me? Cut for the page of wands. Yeah, this person, they are enlightened about why this person be trying to, like, communicate with them all the fucking time. Trying to manipulate them and shit. Yeah, trying to control the situation and keep them held hostage or some shit. But this person, they're smart, they are enlightened, and they are ascending with the sun card here. So I've got the four of pentacles in this. We have here the five of wands. Yeah, somebody here, since they're being released, it's like somebody here is trying to cause fights and shit. So I've got the four of pentacles in reverse because this person is leaving. They don't want nothing to do with this person anymore. So they're either trying to get people to gang up on this person. Yeah. But it's like somebody here gonna be sitting right here forever, waiting on this person, thinking that whatever they're trying to pull here is gonna keep this person with them. Like it's not. Yeah, somebody here just wants this person to keep giving to them financially. It's six of Pentacles here. They're trying to persuade this person to stay. Let's see. Spirit guides, the love of light, ancestors, and masters, and the angels trying to light. Please protect this from any negative energies. Give me some clarity for whoever's resonating with this reading. Remove any negative energies from this deck.
Y'all just heard that bird. So somebody here could be yelling and shit. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody here is yelling at this person. It's like they can't even have a conversation. Or this person can't even be honest with this person without them yelling or getting defensive with some more shit. And this is a from this reading, Spirit Guides of the Night. Ancestors and Masters, and they kind of like. So we have here a passion. It says a, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. And we have here, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to go to give to yourself. And that's what this person is doing. Okay, and it's like they are passionate about you for sure. Okay, you could be feeling um, this person like in your sacral chakra. Okay, or you could just be, you know, feeding for this person. Somebody here is feeding for you. Okay, we have, I just heard this star card. This could be you, Aquarius. You could be very, like, you know, moist, wet, and this person loves that. Okay, we have here, when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love and this is what this person is realizing as well they're forgiving themselves here because they thought that they was making the right decision but you know they just you know made a mistake here like we all do you know and they're learning from it there's some people that don't learn from their mistakes and they keep making the same motherfucking mistakes what else Spirit guides of the night. We have here a healing. It says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Yep, there's most definitely a lot of healing going on. What else? And it's like this somebody who was trying to heal this relationship wants to see that this person is leaving them out in the cold and not giving them no more attention. And it's like this person is done. Somebody here just needs to walk the fuck away. We have nurture the bonds. It says friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically approve. Yeah, so you guys could be friends right now, you know. Type of thing is slow. Getting to know each other again, you know. What else? We have playfulness. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Yeah. I feel like you guys are gonna be laughing about everything that happened, you know, like what the hell? Like, you know. Like it's gonna be funny afterwards. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.